Hi everyone, hope you're all staying safe. Um, I'm Sensi Jo, I'm going to be talking about my Aikido journey today. Um, my journey started in 2002, um, after my eldest daughter um, wanted to do martial arts. She initially wanted to do karate, but I wasn't really very happy with that. Um, I wasn't really um, very um, up on martial, martial arts and how it worked and what the benefits were basically. I just thought it was fighting and so um, I really disapproved to be honest. Anyway, one day she came home from school um, wanting to do Aikido. I didn't even know what that was either. Um, they were doing a six week course. So I said, okay, um, and off she went and I just hoped that would get it out of her system. Um, it didn't. <laughs> um, she then wanted to go um, to a graduation um, at uh, the dojo in Sherwood. Um, and along with about four other kids, um, I took them all down there in the car because none of the other parents dr drove. So I was uh, driving them all down to this uh, graduation. Anyway, after the graduation, um, she decided she wanted to join. So I said, okay, um, but if you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this. Okay, so anyway, um, to cut the story short, we signed her up and she started to train on a very regular basis and was making really good progress. Um, and she did go along, uh, finally go along and do a black belt. And um, at, for a short time, she was um, an instructor teaching the kids. Um, anyway, I spent two years um, watching this because my youngest daughter was also training by this point and so I was sat there watching and um, just taking it all in really anyway uh, the instructors um, often said when are we going to get you on the mat I said absolutely no chance was I doing that <laughs> anyway um, the kids were given a challenge um, they had to um, find somebody who they would like to join and they, if they joined, they would get a badge, a referral badge to show, show on their gi. So in 2004, I had an introductory session um, with Sensi Ken, who unbeknown to me then was to become my husband in 2009. I had the introductory session and I enjoyed it. Um, I attempted to do a backdrop, completely lost my footing and fell into the wall. Um, Sensi never even tittered or made a smirk or anything. So we've had this conversation afterwards um, and I said, were you dying to laugh? And he said, no, not really, <laughs> but I think he was. Anyway, I did join, but in the inter in the interview after my introductory session, um, I told a few, a few porky pies. He said, are you interested in getting to black belt? And I said, yeah, yeah, I want to get a black belt. But in the back of my mind, I'd probably get a yellow belt and quit. My daughter had a badge and that was, that was my mission. Okay, I embarked on my training though and thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, getting through the techniques, did a bit of ground fight, fighting one Saturday morning, which, uh, you know, I was 40 years old by this time. Um, there was this little crumbly on the mat doing all these um, wonderful things. Anyway, in 2006, I was uh, working at the dojo part-time, just on the reception desk, um, just to give the guys some nights off. And in 2008, um, I did my first degree black belt. Um, I then went on to become an, um, an instructor 
and um, a partner in the business. I went on to do my second and third degree black belt, which Sensi Martin will remember because he has got many bruises from when I was doing my sword techniques and um, only managing to, to get it properly right <laughs> on the day. So, um, sorry Sensi Martin. Um, so if somebody had told me um, 16 years ago I would be third degree black belt, a martial arts instructor and a business older, uh, owner, I would have told them they needed the head testing. So let's hope we come through this at the other side. Um, thanks again you guys um, for your support and there's a little insight to um, my Aikido journey. Um, there was a lot more in between, um, but I don't want to go blabbering on for forever. So there's a short insight into uh, how I uh, got to where I am today. Okay, stay safe everybody and hopefully we'll be back in the dojo soon.